Brad, can you talk a little bit about what it's like to come back to this type of situation at Carver where everybody's here to honor you today? Well, it's it's interesting. I like seeing all the guys. I haven't seen a couple of these guys for 25 years. So, uh, you know, to come in here and it's been a lot of hype, a lot of articles. Um, it's interesting. Does it still feel like it was just yesterday or does it seem like a long time ago? It seems like a long time ago. But, you know, to come back here, uh, a lot of the same faces around, it's it's really cool. So, do you uh, When you come back to this type of situation, do you still have that same feel that you did walking into Carver as a kid, or is this a different type of feeling? It's a little different. How so? Uh, just because older, more mature, you know, it's I've played a lot of games in my lifetime, so the excitement's kind of gone. But, no, I'm... I'm thrilled to be here uh, to see all these guys and see Coach Davis again. Is this a situation where, you know, this was a major thing in your life, but you've gone on to so many other things since then, and a lot of people live and die with Iowa basketball. Is does, Do you think it means more to fans to see you than it, than it, than the whole, in the grand scheme of things, how this era fit into your life? I would say it's equal. But, I, you know, I've heard from so many fans. It's it's really cool that they, uh, that they Les Jepson and actually Jeff Moe's not going to be here, but put this all together and, to have us get back here, you know, guys from all around the country are coming back in here, and it's pretty cool. Pretty cool for the fans, pretty cool for us. What's it like having a son going through? He's going to be going through the same type of recruiting process you went through. I hope so. Uh, um, you know, he's, uh, I didn't really have the benefit of that because my parents didn't play sports. Uh, I didn't really know what I was getting into, so it was kind of overwhelming. Uh, I think I can help him a little bit, just steer him in the right direction as far as how to handle it. So I hope it. I hope it's as uh, as uh, frantic as it was when I was getting it. Well, now you got online things and people following his every stat, and I'm sure. It, oh, and it's just amazing. I mean, there wasn't even coverage when I was playing. You know, you might see something. That, there was no radio. You see something in the paper now. It's internet everywhere, and so it's it's interesting. A lot has changed. Is there any one or two things that you could have done differently in your recruiting process that you'd impart to your son this day and age? Oh, I'd say the biggest thing is just kind of absorb it more. It was kind of so overwhelming that I just kind of tried to get away from it. Uh, but just to embrace it, enjoy it, and take it for what it is. You know, it's it's a special thing.